Okay, in today's video, we're gonna do a complete walkthrough on this trestle flat pack bed frame, where you can find it, and how we built it using one of our CNC routers. If you like this content, please take a second and hit that subscribe button. That really helps us out. Thanks. Okay, here's the website. You can see that at the top left of your screen, craigstover.com forward slash flat pack dash bed frame. On this website, you can read about the development of this particular design, and you can purchase and download the DXF files directly for yourself. Now, I've always been interested in furniture or woodworking that you can cut on a CNC router and put together quickly and easily without a lot of glue or tools and with just very basic skills. So that's why I grabbed onto this, downloaded it, and we're gonna run through that whole project now. Plus my three-year-old son, he's transitioning out of a traditional crib, and this was a perfect opportunity to make something for him. So go ahead and read through this website for yourself. Lots of tips and tricks, but also when you download the DXF file, you're also gonna get a PDF with detailed assembly instructions. So everything you need is here and ready to go when you download those files. Okay, here is the trestle bed frame. So when we go to import this file, import, you'll notice that there's different sizes. And if we open up those sizes, we actually get quite a few different nested sheets. These are for the different material thicknesses. So because these notch together, um, the notches have to match your material thickness. So they actually give you one for 0 0.680, 0 0.690, all the way up to 0 0.760. So we actually went over and measured our piece of material it was 0 0.731, so we're gonna use this one in order to create our design. We import that, and here it is. So it actually even comes with some test parts. So if you wanna run those parts first, you can. Then you fit those in, make sure those are nice and snug, but don't require too much force. We're not gonna to need to hammer these pieces together, but they do wanna be tight. And once we do that, then we can cut the whole thing. And this is recommended to use a 3 8 compression tool, which is exactly the main tool we have set up in brand new Selects 512 Anderson Group CNC router. So we're gonna go ahead and get these tool paths on here and then uh, output to the machine and we'll see how this goes. And here we are cutting out the first sheet on this brand new Anderson Selects 512 CNC router. Now this particular machine does have the auto offload feature. So we can actually move these parts right onto an auto conveyor system after it's run. That allows us to put the next sheet on quickly and get right back to cutting. You can see the dust collection ports on that sweeper arm. It actually cleans the table as it's pushing the material off as well. Here is a brief look at the operator console. We're gonna go ahead and load up another file. The bed frame's done, but we're actually gonna do a logo and some more of those test pieces. Everyone loved those test pieces so much, I went ahead and made three more sets so everybody could keep one. And we're gonna go ahead and cut that now. Let's take a quick moment to talk about the material we're using. Now this is a 13 layer plywood, also known as multi-ply. It is a higher end, high quality material. Now you definitely don't have to use that, a traditional, a sheet of plywood will do just fine. This is gonna look better, a little bit more stable, and will hold down better to your CNC router because of that 13 layers. It's not gonna have a lot of warpage or, or bow to it. And when I saw this multi-ply sitting on the shelf here, I just fell in love with it. Just love the look of it. So big thanks to Infinity Vans for donating the material for this project. Okay, we're catching it right at the tail end here. Machine's going back to the furthest position. It's gonna drop down that sweeper arm, clean the table, and push all of our parts onto that automatic conveyor system. Now one thing I want you to take note when we're watching these parts come off is look how little dust and chips are left after this job's complete. In fact, on this particular sheet, we see almost nothing combination of the dust hood, the sweeper, there's almost no chips on this table or on the spoil board. 
To get similar results, you are going to need a good machine with a good dust shroud, dust hood manifold, but you also need a good dust collector, which we can provide and match to your machine. Those were those test pieces we were talking about. Now, I know this is a brand new machine with a brand new router bit, but I was very impressed how clean and sharp all these cuts came out on our first project. Here's a quick look at that Infinity Vans logo. If you want to take your Sprinter van to the next level, look these guys up. Okay, now the fun part, the assembly. I originally planned to do this alone when I got home, but the crew here at Infinity Vans offered to help. Plus, we all wanted to see how well it would go together and what the finished product was going to look like. If I'm being totally honest, it took a little longer than I anticipated, and maybe next time things will go a little faster, and I may even open the detailed assembly instructions for a little bit of help. But with a little bit of effort, a soft mallet, and some sandpaper, we got this thing together, and it turned out great. Again, probably my favorite part is that this thing snaps together with no glue, no fasteners, no screws. It just all designed to fit together perfectly, which was really impressive to see this thing come together. So here's a close-up look at the finished product. Again, that 13-layer plywood really shines through on these edges, and it just looks really, really nice. And you can leave this unfinished if you like. Okay, the final stages. We're putting this in place, putting the twin mattress on, some Avenger Marvel sheets, and we've got one happy three-year-old. If you have any questions about the Anderson CNC router, the Enroute CAD CAM software, the dust collection system, or anything else in this video, please don't hesitate to drop us a line, send us an email, or visit our website at ptmachinery.net. Thanks for watching.